असलम डेयर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू योर ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टेक आउट योर टेक्सट बुक टेक आउट योर पेंसिल एंड अ स्केल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू यूनिट फाइव पाकिस्तान जर्नी पेजेस एटीन एंड नाइनटीन सो टेक आउट योर बुक एंड ओपन पेज नंबर एटीन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन लेट्स डिस्कस द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिवस what do we mean by learning objective that what is the purpose of this lesson what are we going to learn after this lesson students will be able to know about the air traveling identify flag of pakistan explain islamabad as capital of pakistan now let's discuss some discussion points rafis cousin heba lives in islamabad She travels to Karachi with her mother. They are going to meet Rafi's family. Hiba goes to the airport. She sits in the plane. The plane made noise and goes up. Hiba looks out of the window and sees Islamabad. Hiba sees tiny houses and straight roads. She sees the green Markala Hills. my dear students as from the chapter and discussion points you can know that we are going to learn about a different city islamabad now my dear students hiba is rafi's cousin and she lives in islamabad this picture watch it carefully one side is showing the picture of islamabad and what do you think which picture which city is this in second picture Yes you guessed it right it's Karachi Now my dear students if you look at the first picture how can you tell that it's Islamabad Yes we can see the Faisal Mosque and the Margala Hills And in second picture there is a big city there is a beach and we can we know that beach is in which city Karachi There are lots of beaches in Pakistan but the famous one is of Karachi. My dear students take out your book open page number 18 on the top left write the day yes it's friday be sure that f is capital give some space write class work and again give some space and write 13th november 2020 good now my dear students we are going to do some reading so let's start it pakistan journey rafis cousin hiba i hope you all are having different cousins who are cousins they are the they are cousins are the people other than your siblings the children of your any aunt or uncle they are your relative and most of your cousins are your very good friend so rafis cousin is hiba let's read about her this is rafis cousin her name is hiba she lives in islamabad Today she is happy. Hiba and her mother are going to Karachi to visit Rafi's family. Hiba goes to the airport. She sees a big plane. Wow, she says, it's like a bird. She gets on the plane. It makes a loud noise. Then it goes up. My dear students, Now this is Rafi's cousin and her name is Hiba. She lives in Islamabad. Can you tell about something about Islamabad? Yes, Islamabad is the capital of our country Pakistan. What do we mean by the capital of Pakistan? The city where most of the government sectors are located, government buildings are located and mostly the government operates from that city that city of a country is called the capital of the country and our capital of the capital city of the country is islamabad 
so my dear students as you know when the pakistan came into being islamabad was the new city which was built as a capital of pakistan today she is happy hiba and her mother are going to karachi to visit prophet's family of course when you meet your friends your cousins you become happy with each other so hiba is also happy hiba and her mother are going to karachi they are so they are traveling from one place to another from one city to the other city hiba goes to the airport now what is airport which place is this yes where we can travel through the plane airport is a place where we go to travel through the plane to travel by air so we can see different planes over there she sees a big plane wow she says it's like a bird why does she say that it that it looks like a bird because the plane has two wings and it's long and the front side of the plane it looks like a beak of the bird maybe she is imagining that this plane is looking like a bird that's why she said it's like a bird she gets on the plane it makes a loud noise then it goes up now my dear students have you ever been to a plane most of you have been to the plane and you know whenever plane starts to take off it makes loud noise and then it goes up it needs the runway to speed up and then gradually it flies from the land so the picture is given this is the picture of an airport the passengers are coming towards the plane and maybe some uh, passengers they are coming out of the plane they have reached their destination let's move towards the page number 19 now my dear students look at this picture carefully this is the aerial view of the city aerial view means the view from the air Heba looks out of the window and sees Islamabad. She sees lots of tiny houses and straight roads. She sees the green Markala Hills. What are Markala Markala Hills, my dear students? Markala Hills are the hills around the city of Islamabad. Now, my dear students, as you know, whenever you will go up, the things on the land will look small. And have you ever imagined why does a plane look so small in the air, while in actual it's so big? Yes, because it's far away from us, so it looks very small when it's in the sky. But when we see it on the airport, it looks very big. Similarly, when you are in the plane and you fly above, and when when you look down, you can see that the city. is looking the houses in the city they look tiny small there are different straight roads and that's how we look at the maps as well so similarly happened with the hiba she looked out of the window and she saw islamabad she saw that there are tiny houses and straight roads and then she saw the green markala hills now it this is there is one another meaning my dear students that maybe at at this point the plane was not at at that much height when she saw down so she could see the tiny houses and the straight roads but when the plane is at the height you only see the clouds i hope the students who travel in the plane they have clear idea of this thing now my dear students there is another picture This is also the aerial view of the city of Islamabad. You can see lots of greenery, roads, houses, buildings. They are looking very tiny. And look how interesting is it to look the road from above from the air. Isn't it beautiful? And look at this picture. This picture is taken from the Markala Hills. Can you see the zigzag pattern of the road? What does it mean? It means that this road is leading towards the height. 
it's going toward the height of the mountains of Margala Hills. And look at the Faisal Mosque. You can have a clear and good idea, uh, good view over here from here. My dear students, move towards page number 19. Complete the words about our flag. My dear students, let's talk about our flag. Now, this is the flag of Pakistan and there are two colors in it. One color is green and the other color is white. And we can see this crescent or moon. Crescent basically means the moon of the starting days. You know that the moon is completed, uh, the full moon we can see after 14 days. And in the start, it looks like this and we call it crescent. So, moon or crescent is here and a star is here. And as you know, star has five pointed edges. So, a flag, it carries a lot of meanings. It's not only a symbol of a country, but it represents many things. So, my dear students, do you have any idea what does this flag represent? Yes, the green color represents Muslims. As you know, Pakistan is the country created for the Muslims. We got, the, we got independence from the other people to create a country so that we can live according to our religion, Islam. What is our religion? Our religion is Islam. And white color shows the people of other religions, the minorities. So it represents that in Pakistan is not only the country of Muslims, but it's also the country of the people of other religion and it gives full rights to the other people also. But the majority in this country is of Muslims. This crescent, can you tell me what does it mean? It means the progress, the progress of country. And the star, the pointed star with five pointed edges, it shows knowledge and light. So my dear students, I hope you have a clear idea that the flag is not only the symbol of a country but it shows so many meaning as well. Now look at these blanks. There are few words, one alphabet is missing and you have to guess that alphabet. In the end we will check the answers. R, F, L, A, blank, green, G R double E blank. The next one is pointing towards the white color. W H I blank E. Next one is S blank A R. The other one is M double O blank. Now, my dear students, take out your pencils and fill it quickly. I know my all students are very smart. They can do this work very nicely and quickly. Now move towards next page. Circle the correct words in each sentence. Yes. Before doing this exercise, I want to discuss one thing. My dear students, can you tell me three means of transport? There are three means of transport. Land transport, water transport and air transport. For the land transport, that for movement from one place to another, we use roads and the vehicles we use are cars, trucks, buses, cycles, bicycles. And my dear students, in air transport, we use the planes, helicopter, jet planes. And my dear students, for water transport, if there is no land and we have to reach the other place through the water, we use the transport which can be used in water. And which transport is that? What are the vehicles for that? Ship, boat, marine, submarine. So, submarine, do you know where it travels? It travels inside the sea. Now, my dear students, circle the correct word in each sentence. Hiba lives in 
इस्लामाबाद लाहौर कराची राफेल लिव्स इन इस्लामाबाद लाहौर कराची हिबा इज राफेज सिस्टर ब्रदर कजन शी गोज ऑन अ बस प्लेन शिप फ्रॉम द प्लेन द हाउस इज लो बे ह्यूज स्मॉल सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सर्कल द करेक्ट आंसर and now let's check the answers yes my dear students first one was r flag so what will come in first blank g next one is showing which color green color so what will come in the end n what's in the next blank white so what will come here t the next one is star and you have to put t and the next one is moon and in the end you have to put n now my dear students move to first page number 19 he will lives in islamabad yes rafi lives in karachi heba is rafi's cousin she goes on a plane from the plane the house is look small now my dear students i hope you have a clear idea about today's lesson that we move from one place to another place through the if there is a long distance we can cover it quickly through the plane also and heba also she also moved from islamabad to karachi in the aeroplane and he buys rafes cousin and where does rafe lives he live he lives in karachi and you know karachi is the capital of the province of sind it's the biggest city of pakistan as well and he buys rafes cousin and she goes on a plane and you know whenever plane goes up if we look from Uh, the land the aeroplane looks small and but if we are in the plane and we look down we see that everything is looking tiny now my dear students i hope you have understood the lesson well please do your work and let's make a prayer that may allah keep our country safe okay my dear students have a nice day allah hafiz